So the long-awaited TLC3 has finally arrived, and we're going to go into all of the details and all of the changes in this video. But first, before we do that, let me show you my new little friend right here. We've got a chibi of a Genesis Part 2 creature, the Noglin. This was added with the new update as well. If you own Genesis Part, I guess the Genesis Season Pass, uh, you're going to have this dude once you respawn with all your skins and everything. Um, and then you can just equip him and also I have cool little boots on from the Genesis Chronicles Which obviously you have to get the Explorer notes using Helena to get uh, We're gonna do that at some other stage and listen to those notes I haven't heard them just yet, but guys, let's get into all the new changes But first hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one and uh, yeah, let's go So we're gonna start out with the stego and as you can see they have indeed updated the chibi model And they've also updated the skeletal one Although this one's really small for some reason compared to the regular one I don't understand why it just I guess it loses its skin and apparently just all of its mass Anyway, right here. We have four of the five stegos Um, there's also the bone stego which I'll show you in a second So this is the vanilla one. We're gonna take a closer look at this in a second uh, Here we have the aberrant one. That's the glow in the dark and let's switch back to day over here. We have the tech one. They have indeed changed this It doesn't look a whole lot different, but it definitely is and then we have the corrupted one These two on the end actually have like a weird uh, Little visual kind of glitch where their uh, their top beak goes through the bottom one It's very strange looking you can kind of just barely notice it right there and then let me show you the bone costume Boom and you can see it's uh, it's got that weird little lip thing as well very strange Let's go ahead and take that off. So with the stego, it has a bunch of different plate abilities. And as you can see, when I hopped on, that pattern appears, which means that you can't have these guys in those different plate modes unless a player is mounted, which makes it a little bit more interesting when you hear about the abilities on these guys. So with all of the plate modes, you're going to you're gonna have a prevent dismount ability. So basically, when, when a player is on a stego, you're not going to be able to pick them off in any case i mean you can't not have a plate mode on so it's honestly really good i mean especially this one right here the hardened plate mode is probably going to be the one that's going to be used a lot this one is going to be good for gathering wood but it's also got a damage reduction buff which means that uh this thing is, is going to be kind of insane like you know you're going to be able to tank all the turrets and not get picked at all they're going to actually need to kill the stego so it really makes this thing an absolute beast even though it was already pretty good in the game let's move on to the next one you can switch between them by the way by hitting c and there we go the hardened plate mode uh, or no sorry the heavy plate mode my bad uh, this one here will apply a slow when you hit with the tail attack and it has the same uh, prevent dismount thing as well. This one's going to be good for gathering uh, thatch, I do believe. And then this is the sharpen plate mode. This one's going to be good for gathering berries. And then also has armor penetration with the tail attack. Now, speaking about the tail attack, you can impale things with it. And I do believe it's the right click right here. I mean, that is kind of terrifying, actually. Let me show you that in K mode here. So, boom. That really does look kind of scary. I mean, I don't think I'd want to get hit by that at all. I might actually spawn something in here in a second that we can test that on. But uh, you can see here's the regular tail whip attack. And there's actually a yellow color to the sharpened one. To the uh, heavy one, or sorry, the hardened one, it's just like a white. And then here is the heavy one. This one has a blue. So you can kind of tell from a distance what type of plate mode they're rocking although this one's really obvious from a distance because the player is like very easy to hit okay so now on to the actual impaling because this is kind of strange for some reason you're just not able to do it on things right but then if you hit them it turns red and you can do it so as you can see right there it's basically just impaled into the sheep they can't see me i'm invisible right now but uh, I think, I don't know, I think you kind of have to like aggro them or something first. It's really strange. I don't exactly understand right now because it just came out. But I think what you need to do is you need to hit them once first before you do anything. So, I mean, that's pretty cool either way. You kind of just like stun them in place and just bleed them out. I'm a little bit curious how that's actually going to work uh, when you're... <laughs> When you're actually just like out in the wild with stegos like are they gonna be able to just hold you in place like this? Like look I hit it and then it turns red and now I can actually hit him with one of these of course He can't see me. I'm invisible uh, So he can't uh, run away from me, but uh, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of crazy I mean that looks really really good and it does damage numbers as well So I'd assume it becomes a little bit faster bleeding things out uh, the more melee damage you have on this guy, but uh, either way though that is the stego Honestly, they've done a lot of really good work with this dude. I mean 
It's kind of terrifying now. I'm really curious to see how we can actually use this against other dinos in the game because, I mean, you know, all along the Stega was just kind of one of those creatures. It's good for PvP, you know, good for gathering berries, but not much else. But uh, I don't know. I really feel like right now it's it's ready to shine as just this absolute killing machine. We really got to do some mutations with it. So next up, we have the Mammoth. And as you can see, we've got a Mammoth Chibi right here. It looks kind of cute, although its back is like looking a little bit strange and and slouched I don't really understand but uh, yeah it looks pretty cute and right here we have a male and a female there is no difference between them from what I can tell I mean the tusks and everything are the exact same I'd love to see actual variations but uh yeah the mammoth is fantastic like the stego model was different but the mammoth is extremely different it's extremely well done like it it looks way more like a mammoth should look and um i'm sure we're gonna look back at the old mammoth at some stage and just be like wow I, I can't believe that we actually had that for that many years it's also extremely tall like just look at the legs i mean oh god this is so cool by the way the saddle yeah very nice that's actually just a normal mammoth saddle there is no like new variant or whatever so if you've already had a really good mammoth saddle you're gonna have this one because it just replaces what it used to do or i guess used to look like as well of course we have the drum on the back which you know what let's start off by showing that off so um i do believe we can show the radius we have an option here to hide or show the radius uh, i don't know if there's like an easy way to just like mount onto the the drum saddle i assume if there's somebody mounted onto the onto the mammoth that you're going to be able to just hit uh, E and just mount on, but you can just go in here and mount the uh, drum right there. So obviously it just, you know, places you at the back right here. And of course we've got our little chibi there too. We hit left click, although as you, as you can actually see around there, we've got the little radius. It's that little like red line. If we hit left click, we can start the song. And you just got to keep hitting this little spot right here. It doesn't seem to change or move or anything like that. And we actually now have a buff. I'm probably going to end up missing one of these, but this buff is going to uh, obviously improve your stamina recovery and make you immune to fear roars. Now, this also seems to... I think it's supposed to work for creatures, but I can't actually tell. They don't have, like, the little green, like, buff thing that I do. As you can see, we've got some, like, kind of lime green buff around my character. I think it's supposed to actually do that for uh, creatures as well, but it doesn't seem to be doing it. And if I hop off and hop on something else... As you can see, it doesn't have that buff or anything. So I thought initially it was going to do that for um, for your your creatures, but it doesn't seem to do that. So a little bit disappointing, and I hope that's maybe just me not doing it right or something like that. Anyway, let's hop on and show off some of the abilities with this guy. So left click, boom, we've got this. So there's like a couple different variants. So you can have it like swing like that or just shove forward. Very nice. Um, that's going to probably be really good for gathering wood and thatch and all that good stuff. We've got right click, which is the grab. And as you can see, we can grab small creatures, nothing too big, but we can also throw them. I think, what do we, we, yeah, we hold down right click and then we can throw them. Now that's a good distance, you know? I mean, you could probably also get some good height on it as well. Let me actually just pick this dude up and throw him again, just see how far we can get him. So a mammoth in the wild could end up just like picking you up and throwing you away really far. Let me see, can I throw him backwards? I don't seem to be able to. You can see the crosshair disappears when I go back there. So let's throw him up. Yeah, it doesn't go up really high, but it goes pretty far. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I like that. So we also have uh, C, which is the roar. That's going to apply a debuff to enemies. Um, and I don't actually know what that does because I can't, I can't tell right now. Uh, but I'm assuming that's going to be pretty good. And then also we we can actually spam that as well. So it's probably not going to be super amazing. I, I can do it again, as you can see. So it's kind of almost like its own little fear roar type thing, I would imagine. And then we also, we don't have anything on X or control, but we do have something on spacebar. And that's going to do a ton of knockback right there. So let's go ahead and just gather some wood and stuff over here. Uh, let's go ahead and hit it with that. So that one there is good for gathering thatch. Uh, there's not many trees around here. We got a couple over here that we can go and hit. I think the space bar is probably going to be good for wood. Um, but uh, I don't know. Just in general, I'm really loving this new mammoth. Like, this looks fantastic. It feels really good as well. So that's space bar. That's what's going to be good for gathering your wood. So left click for uh, thatch, space bar for wood. What is it going to be for uh, berries, I wonder? Maybe right click or C. No, C is that thing. Wait, can this thing not gather? Can we, we can gather berries, right? Oh, yeah, there we go. So left click is good for that. Okay, let me let me go over here. Does spacebar do it as well? No, space is just for wood. 
very nice and actually there's a variant there that we just got so we can go up with two or we can have it just do one there you go that's pretty cool actually i like that god damn yeah the mammoth looks really good i i'm a big fan of this and i love the little war drum little mini game thingy but uh yeah let's move on to some of the other cool stuff that's in tlc3 so with this update we have a ton of new breedable creatures right here we have an arthropleura egg i got rid of the arthros but here's the egg you can't pick them up it's basically the same as the bloodstalker kind of like the same little model as well which is not a bad thing at all but uh yeah there it is that's the arthro egg right over here we have lymantria also breedable and there's the egg for that. We have the mantis right here. Unfortunately, when you breed the male and female together, I was hoping that maybe the uh, the female would kill the male, like, in, you know, in real life. That would have been kind of funny, but uh, that unfortunately is not a thing. Uh, I'm waiting on the scorpion egg, and we have the spider egg over here. We're going to hatch up all these guys in just a second and check out the models to the babies. Waiting for the scorpion. Boom, there it is. Let's go ahead and just get rid of these guys. So right here we have a scorpion babies. We actually got twins. I wonder if it's going to be more common to get twins and triplets and stuff out of the insects. The scorpions as babies look very strange actually. Their claws are tiny and their face is just gigantic looking. I don't know why. It just looks really long. Um, got to wait on the other ones to be ready to hatch here. We got a couple seconds left on the spider here. Let's check this one out. So we got one spider. Very nice. Uh, let's get them all kind of in the same spot. What else hatched? Uh, probably the Lymantria. Uh, if I can claim it, that would be great. There we go. Cool, we got it. And then, are you incubating over here? I wonder. Probably. Oh, yeah, you are. Sweet. Okay, here we go. We got the Arthro Boom. And then, finally, we have the Mantis, which is still incubating. Almost done, though. And there it is. All right, let's get all these guys together and check them out. So I want to get them maybe up onto there where there's not so much grass. Um, all right, come here, guys. So yeah, the little scorpions are really fast as babies, actually. That's kind of funny. So here we have them all together. The spider looks extremely strange looking. Its body is gigantic compared to its legs. The mantis baby, oh my god, that is awesome looking. That actually looks really cool. Um... Then over here, we have the Lymantria. Very nice. <laughs> we have the Arthro. Oh, my God. Look at his face. Its face is massive. Wow. And then, of course, we have the Scorpion, which you've already kind of taken a look at. Along with all these guys, we have Onik and Wyverns that are also breedable. We'll check those out in just a second. But these are all the new insect ones, and those brand new eggs are basically the same as the Bloodstalkers. So can't pick them up, unfortunately. So you got to obviously make sure that you have them in a proper breeding area when you're gonna hatch them. So with this update, we now have Wyverns and Onyx breedable. We already know what baby Wyverns look like, but the Wyverns got a bit of a nerf, so now you can breed the Fire, Poison, Lightning, and Ice ones. You could already breed all the Crystal ones. And here is what a baby bat looks like. It's inside of its mom. Let me pull it over here. Come here. Come on. By the way, it says equipped saddle, but there is no saddle. Trust me, I've already checked. Uh, I don't know why it says that. I don't believe it said that before, but uh, yeah, there's a baby Onyx, which looks really derpy looking um yeah <laughs> i think it would be kind of cool if you could kind of like put the onyx as like i don't know shoulder pet or something i don't even know i these these guys have got to be one of the most useless creatures in arc like they're not rideable they are tameable they can't land like what i mean they're probably okay because they can give mega rabies but i don't know i'm not a big fan maybe we'll check them out though i mean i think it's kind of cool looking at the little baby one though look at you all right, so yes, uh, that is all of the breedable creatures. So there's a bunch of new changes. The Thyla now has a bleed on its left click attack. As you can see, I'm getting bled, but I'm also bleeding it. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same one as an aloe, which is pretty cool. And it's also going to make the Thyla just way stronger in general. So if you get attacked by one of these things, pulled off like a your mount or whatever when it launches at you from a tree, it's definitely going to just probably kill you now. I mean, I don't really think we're going to be able to survive this with the bleed as well. So this is a tiny little change, but the Dodic is now capable of turning while rolling, and I'm sure we can all understand how useful this is definitely going to be. I mean, goddamn, it's always been super annoying not getting the exact straight line that you need and then having to stop and then roll again when you've like ran into something. So yeah, really nice actually. I'm a big fan of this change. So this is a tiny little change, but it's probably the best thing ever because the Basilisk now has eyes. Look at the eyes, guys. It has two of them. It's amazing. Look at it. <gasps> two eyes. Who would have thought? <laughs> 
previously by the way in case you don't understand it used to just have like a little kind of like white uh eyes i suppose they weren't really proper eyes it almost kind of made it look like it was blind so the megalodon now has a pack bonus as you can see it goes up to eight which means that in total you want nine megalodon friends hanging out with you let's test out this dude fighting against a wild one so first of all you can see we now have a bleed let me try and get rid of that off the screen let me just do that boom so it's the same kind of gash, 5%. Uh, that seems to be the same as like the Carno bleed or something like that. Um, but as you can see, yeah, it can make things bleed with the left click attack. And that's how much my Megalodon does. This thing is a level 100 force tamed and I only pumped stamina into it. So I could do a lot of damage with this dude. Um, I feel like Megalodons could probably be a contender for taking out the Mooter boss now because that's a huge amount of damage. In comparison, here's how much damage I do by myself. Look at that, 121 up to like 500. That is an insane boost. Yeah, these guys are gonna be great now. I really feel like Megalodons are gonna take over the ocean. So there is a brand new taming hood, which is honestly great. It's right up here in your inventory. There's probably also a hotkey. I haven't figured that part out just yet. Inside of here, you got a ton of information that shows you your taming effectiveness, your progression, uh, the unconscious meter, health, and then uh, also food. And it also shows the gender as well. You can click on them to track them and it shows you how far away they are and everything. And then if you look in that direction, it will actually show a little kind of pop-up like that. And uh, you can see a little bit of the information. So um, let's go ahead and just track all of the creatures that I have knocked out right now. So there we go, track all. And as you can see, let me go over here. We've got three creatures knocked out here. Let's look over at the Pteranodon. Cool. Now I want to check out the Trike. Bam. And then let's have a look at the Parasaur. And it's also going to show you the progression through this little uh, hexagon right here. Let's just dump in some berries. So you can see it's starting to kind of fill up a little bit. It shows you the percentage. And you can actually also, of course, look at it to try and get that little thing up. I'm not seeming to be able to get that up right now. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so yeah. And we can see now he's already tamed. So that is honestly awesome. Like this is a really nice change. And it really, it kind of like solidifies some of it uh, with what they've been doing with like the Genesis uh, type hood and everything with like the hexagons and stuff. Honestly, I love it. And of course, right there, we can see it shows that it's tamed. I haven't went to it just yet. So it wants, the game wants to tell me, hey, this thing's tamed. And as you can see, it's shown up as green in here. So yeah, um, that is honestly awesome. I, I love this change, but um, very, very handy. I'm sure we've all had that situation where, you know, you've knocked something out and you go back to your base to grab the kibble or whatever. And then you come back and you're like, okay, where the hell is it? <laughs> so yeah, with this, it's, it's really nice. I love this. It's such a great change, honestly.